glad to see everybody, and we're just so happy to be back. We missed you all over the weekend, and I thank you for being here and taking care of the stuff, taking care of the church in Bradenton. My, my, my. And we had a wonderful meeting in Illinois, and there is a um, there is a movement forming in the Midwest, uh, and it really is. Uh, looks like we're going to have our first ministers meeting out of it. Uh, in uh, Evansville, Indiana in November, and uh, several pastors from southeast Missouri and Illinois, Indiana, uh, that the Lord is talking to their hearts, and uh, we just really had a wonderful meeting in Royalty, <laughs> Illinois, and Anna, Illinois. God was with us, so it was a very trying physical trip, 16 hours in a church van one way, straight through the night and uh, in 16 hours coming back uh, in, on the highway. But God was good, watched over us, kept us, and helped uh, the brethren to drive, and uh, shown here, David Tracy, they did a wonderful job uh, handling the van and getting us through the night. And uh, going to Nashville, Atlanta, and all those cities, but uh, God was good. And so I'm glad to be home. I appreciate you praying for us and letting us go and let us do God's work and keeping the church here. And it looks very, very uplifting across uh, that Midwest area there. Uh, those churches coming together, Evansville, Indiana, Brother Roger Willis, uh, and uh, in uh, Anna, Illinois, Brother Bonham, Brother David Betts over in Royalton. <coughs> Brother David Tharp and Poplar Bluff, Missouri, and um, Brother Sumner's up in Grand Tower. Uh, just there's a number of them. We had an average of seven to eight pastors in every service we had. Amen. And the Lord was good and had those churches mingling together Friday night, Saturday, twice on Sunday. And God was so good. Praise God. I give him the praise. I give him the thanksgiving because it's vision. It's vision. Without a vision, my people perish. And you'll do that in a local church. You can do that in a general body. You can do that in the calling of a minister. You can do that as a handmaiden of the Lord. You can do that as a man or woman, boy or girl in a church. Without a vision, without a vision, you'll perish. Because of lack of knowledge, my people go into captivity. So I, I want all of you to know that God is good tonight, and uh, I want to move out in the depth of the Spirit. I don't want anybody restraining me, holding me back, and I'm not for this churchism of the latter day that we've developed, this formalism, this ritualism. I'm not for this second thing in order and coming in here and got to do it the same way. And Amen. Everybody's got to soon resume the same on, seat and look right. at each other the same way. Right. But let the Holy Ghost come in. Yes. Let the Holy Ghost speak to the church. Yes. I, I've got confidence in the Holy Ghost. Yes. I've got confidence in the Holy Ghost. Yes. Man, some of you don't even understand too much of what I was saying there, do you? Praise our God. Well, let's try it again. I've got confidence in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the Holy Ghost. I believe in the leadership of the Holy Ghost. I believe the Holy Ghost is greater than my spirit, greater than your spirit, greater than our minds, greater than our flesh. There is nothing above the power of God. The power of God is great. It's awesome. Praise the name of the Lord. My God, I can feel it tonight in this place. I don't want to restrain it and hold it back. Uh, we people need to get out of that. They need to move into it. Praise our God. People wonder, why don't they have uh, energy to come to church? Why don't they have energy to make all the meetings? Why don't they have energy to praise the Lord? Why don't they have, well, they're not feeding the right thing. As long as they keep feeding uh, something in them besides the Holy Ghost, uh, they won't have that. But you feed the Holy Ghost. And the Holy Ghost can make you run for a truth and leap over a wall. Praise the name of the Lord. Holy Ghost can heal your body. Holy Ghost can heal your mind. Holy Ghost can heal your spirit. Praise the name of the Lord. I've got come.
covenant and the Holy Ghost. Praise our God. Praise our God. No wonder the first thing God had to do with the church was to fill them with the Holy Ghost. In the book of Acts, he didn't set anybody in order until he filled them with the Holy Ghost. The first thing he had to do was pray through, get the Holy Ghost. An apostle couldn't work, a prophet couldn't work, a teacher couldn't work, a pastor couldn't work until they were filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. I believe tonight we won't let the church be filled with the Holy Ghost. He said, Brother Marlow, how, how do I know when I'm filled with the Holy Ghost? When you stop acting like you are yourself, when you get out of yourself, when you stop being sister so-and-so and brother so-and-so, when you're a new preacher, when, when uh, the devil knows he can't push you around, when the devil knows that he can't discourage you, when the devil knows he can't get the best of you, you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Praise the name of the Lord. You're filled with the Holy Ghost. When the devil knows he cannot pick on you, bully you, chase you around the block, get you all out of sorts, get you upset, get you all in the spirit, when the devil knows that you're filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Then you'll brush the sleep out of your eyes. You'll throw that time block. You've got to weigh and say, oh, well, i got to be in bed at a certain hour. i gotta, I got I to gotta get everything tidied up in the house. So now neglect it. Leave it alone. It's all material. It's earthly. Your house is going to pass away. Everything you're driving will pass away. Everything you have will pass away. I thank God. I thank God. I have a treasure. Please the name of the Lord. that the excellency of the power may be of God and out of us. God's people need to get ready for this great move that God's going to make right now. All over the land, I'm getting called from pastors. I got a call today. From the Morrow, can you give us two days in Louisville, Kentucky uh, in December? I said, I can't get there in December. It'll be December before I get there. Uh, well, it's all right. Uh, uh, set a date, you can be here. Come. Uh, 4th and 5th of December. Praise the name of the Lord. Yeah. I, I, I am nothing, and you are nothing, and we're nothing, right. but we're serving a mighty yes. God. Yes. He's going to have a church. Yes. He's, got, he's got a church now, yes. but he's got to make it sparkling. Yes. He's got to get it ready. Yes. He's got to make it bright. Yes. He's got to let it be powerful. Yes. It's got yes. to be an army yes. marching through the land with healing in their soul and deliverance in their hands. Praise the name of what he has a church right now. He just has to make it glorious. That's all. He's got a church right now. There's a church in the earth right now. But he's got to make it glorious. He's coming back for a glorious church. A glorious church. Without spot. Without wrinkle. Without blemish. Any such thing. It will be without sin. When Jesus comes, it will be without sin. That church will have no sin in it. Praise the name of the Lord. They'll be born of God. They'll keep his word. And his seed will be in them. And they cannot say it. Because his seed remaineth in them. Praise the name of the Lord. I tell you tonight, I don't know. I, I just want to look at all of you and say, I love you. I love you. I want to encourage you. I've got the local church. we got to get the local church up before we can tell others about it. I believe God's here tonight. I felt him when I walked through the door. Amen. I feel him right now. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm here, I'm here not to play church. I'm here to have church in the Holy Ghost tonight. Praise our God. Send the anointing, Lord. Send the power, Lord. Send the healing, Lord. Amen. Send the Holy Ghost all over. Let's make go all over us, Lord. Get all over us, Lord. Amen. Stay on your feet. When the Holy Ghost is through, you get through. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Right. Sing right. in the Spirit. Right. Worship in the Spirit. Right. Talk in the Spirit. Right. Love in the Spirit. Right. Help each other in the Spirit. Yeah. Worship God in the Spirit. Yes. Get ready for the revival next week. Yeah. Monday night, we're going to be in the press harbor. Yeah. I'm not going to go out there and be solid in those oaks. Yeah. I'm going to go out there and praise the Lord. Yeah. I'm going out there and shout. Yeah. I'm going out there and have a press harbor. Yeah. Old time. Because this won't be you. 
news from Monday through uh, Friday. We, we, the church is out there. Yeah, this right. is just the building. Yeah, but right. the church is going to be out there. Yeah. And the same God that's here will be out there. Yeah. Praise the name of the Lord. Because yeah. he's God yeah. and there's none above him. Yeah. I tell you, you can't hem this God up. He's yeah. familiar with the Red Sea. Yeah. He's, he's comfortable with the Red Sea. Yeah. He was with Moses at the Red Sea. Yeah. He took the children of Israel over and opened up the sea, did he not? Yes, he you think he's afraid of oak trees and bush no. arbors? No. Amen. No. This God that I serve is a God that can be anywhere. He was on the mountain. Praise God. He was on the mountain. His hand come down, struck the rock, wrote the tablets of the law. Praise God. Gave them to Moses. He come down from the mountain and his face was shining and they couldn't even look on his face. How would you like that? How'd you like you be get a hold of too much of God until uh, you go home? The wife says, I gotta put my sunglasses on. I can't look at you. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 You believe it, buddy? Walk in one night in that home over there, die and say, buddy, I don't know what's wrong. I, I, I can't look at you. I gotta go get my sunglasses. I can't see you without uh, looking through the sunglasses. They couldn't see Moses. Had to put a veil on his face. I got the glory of God. People look at you and say, "Oh, this, oh, that, oh, the other." No, 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 no. no. We're, 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 we're going somewhere. And I, I've come back to tell you that God's making a move all over this country. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. Yes. All yes. over America, yes. God is shaking up people. God is moving churches. God is talking to people. Yes. And because if you get your boat in a little spiritual lagoon uh, where there's crocodiles and alligators eating you up uh, yes. and you can't do anything but watch a snapping turtle snap at you, alligator won't eat you, you better get your boat out of that lagoon and get it back out in the sea yes. of God where it belongs. Yes. Praise the name of the Lord. You better get your boat. Don't park your boat up in some marshy place uh, where an old gator will come up back again and snap the half of the off. Uh, get out of that. Don't let spiritual gators and spiritual turtles and, and spiritual spirits uh, uh, get a hold of you. Get your boat. Get your vessel out in the deep of the water. Praise the name of the Lord where the Spirit of God will cover up that you. You won't be saved. Uh, they won't be saved. But you'll look at them and there'll be such love in your heart for that sister. You dare not talk about her. You dare not say a word about her. You dare not get over the corner and gossip about her. Praise the name of the Lord. You dare not show the wrong spirit. Uh, you dare not uh, be stingy and selfish. You dare not uh, look down on some look up to others. You dare not have respect to a person. You'll love God's people just like God loves you. Amen. up in Evansville in November. Uh, we're, we're getting ready for a meeting of out in Amarillo. We're getting ready for a meeting of uh, we're moving them. Praise God. The Lord is moving among his people. We're getting ready for a sister's meeting. Uh, Sister Marlowe is going to the and the sisters in Miami to come up. Sister over in Sebring. Uh, it isn't time to park your little canoe in a little lagoon and say, me and mine, and I, I dare you to step on my little picky because my little picky will get hurt if you step on my little picky. No, you get smooth, pull your little picky in. Praise the name of the Lord and just let the Lord help you. And remember, the love of God is greater than our little pickies. Praise the name of the Lord. The, the love of God is greater than ourselves. I tell you, we are not going to always talk about a Holy Ghost church. It is going to come back again. People are going to walk in the Spirit. They're going to live in the Spirit. They're going to be sanctified in the Spirit. They're going to get out of the world in the Spirit. They're going to serve God in the Spirit. Praise the name of the Lord.
reach up for God. Yes. Time for God to help us. Yes, don't park your boat in a marsh. Don't get over a mosquito-filled place. Uh, uh, don't, don't come to church and set the clock and say, I'll be back uh, uh, at this certain time. Come and stay as long as the lights are on. Yes. Stay as long as the service is. Uh, uh, don't, 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 don't sectionize God. Don't section God out and say, I, got to, I just can't do it. I just can't. Yes, you can do it. Yes. God can help you do it. Praise the name of the Lord because God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. God loves you. Praise the name of the Lord. And that's what makes the difference. Uh, I wish uh, in Daniel 12 chapter, uh, yes, we have a little nursery back there. You just have that little child. Uh, but in Daniel the 12th chapter, uh, I want to deal with that a few moments here. 